Hello there. We've had a very windy day on Wednesday. The winds are probably less strong as we go through into Thursday, but they will still be there. So uh, still quite a windy day to come. And there will be some showers around as well, so many of us could well encounter some wet weather. Now, the winds will still be strong, I think, uh, right through the night, although the really strong winds in the northeast will be easing off. And there'll be some showers continuing towards the end of the night across many northern and western parts. Temperatures, by the time we get towards morning, well, dipping down close to freezing across the northeast of Scotland. So a touch of frost here, but otherwise mostly holding just about above freezing. So let's start off Thursday morning then with a look at Wales. Well here the clouds will be thickening up and we will see some outbreaks of rain across many parts of North and Mid Wales and there'll be a lot of cloud around and a scattering of showers for Northern Ireland as well. Those winds all the while remaining fairly brisk for many of us particularly across the north of Scotland there. Now it could be a dry even a bright start across parts of the northeast of Scotland a chilly one though but further towards the northwest and down through northwest England we'll have a lot of cloud around and again some outbreaks of rain to greet us in the morning. Generally southeastern parts should be a little bit drier through the morning although we could have the remnants of some overnight rain just holding on to parts of Kent there for instance but as we move across towards the southwest again maybe just the odd shower around first thing but we could well see some more showers coming along as the day progresses. So let's see how things shape up then well as you can see a lot of cloud around across the UK throughout the day on Thursday limited amounts of sunshine I think and those showers will start to move their way a little bit further southwards and eastwards so quite a few of us are like likely to catch at least one or two showers through the day but there could well be places that miss out. As far as the temperatures go around about seven to nine degrees but it will be turning quite chilly with some sleet and snow showers increasingly falling across the higher ground through Scotland and indeed northern England. Now that uh those showers move out of the way through Thursday night into Friday and the winds will continue to ease down. You'll notice the isobar is just beginning to open up there. So it will turn quite chilly, I think, through Thursday night into Friday. Quite a bit of frost around before the clouds and indeed the rain roll back in from the west. And we will see some significant snowfall, I think, across parts of northeast Scotland in particular on Friday. So that's one to watch. Now, that particularly active weather system will start to move out of the way later on Friday. So Saturday looks like being a little bit drier, but having said that, there will still be some showers around and perhaps even some more persistent spells of rain moving into the west later on. But New Year's Eve looks like being generally fairly mild, still fairly windy with the chance of some further rain. But as we head into the new year itself, well, it looks like it could turn a little bit chillier once again.